a Cornwall Corporation vintage avocado green warming tray. Oh, yeah, this thing just breathes 1970s. Wooden handles. It's all original. It's been used twice, maybe three times in its entire life. And it's mine. It never used to be. This was my parents, actually. And uh, I think they said they may have gotten this as a wedding gift or something like that. And they really just never used it. Here's the information tag. It says Cornwall Electric Tray, model 1142, 115 volts, 220 watts, AC only, do not immerse, made in the USA, Cornwall, Cornwall Corporation. It has its hardened rubber feet and the like melamine material for the bottom here. It's never been opened, never been touched. I don't know why these screws are dark and these are lighter, but it just is. It's just awesome. All around awesome. This made a cameo appearance in my New Year's Eve video. Vintage, motherfuckers. Vintage. Another warming tray. This doesn't have a status light or anything, but it does have a knob where you can turn it. And it's made by Cornwall Industries, I believe. And I said I would do a video on it, and here it is. It's like a... It feels glass. It really does. I have the cord here. The cord, I think this wrap is factory and I won't even dare to even dream of undoing this it's just it's too vintage perfect the old school plug like that of course non-polarized no big thing so you can easily shock yourself when you plug it in if you want and uh, you know it has a thermostat on it here it goes off low medium high infinitely adjustable of course let's plug it in all right here we go temperature says it is 70 degrees pretty much anywhere on there so we'll go ahead and we'll just turn it on to high now I understand that the infrared thermometers aren't going to give the best reading because this is sort of reflective in that but we'll turn it on all the way to high and I'll let this cook for oh I don't know 10 minutes or so this uh, area here is for you to put like a coffee pot or something like that. I think it gets hotter here. In other words, I think there's more coils, if you will, in this area than there is, you know, going through the rest of it. Um, I do have to turn power on. That would certainly help. And I just have it plugged into, you know, really a lamp cord because that's fine. It's, you know, 220 watts. It's not going to hurt anything. And I'm starting to feel warmth. It's quick. It takes a while because it does have to heat through the glass, but it's just barely getting warm now. So I'll let this cook for a bit and we'll come back. All right, that's been cooking for exactly 10 minutes. It was 70 before. Wow. We're reading... 200 and something degrees depending on where you go seems to be a lot cooler toward the front here but as you move toward the back it's certainly a lot hotter and in the hot spot yeah it is a bit hotter there indeed so that's what the infrared reads now I have the uh, this guy here, I'll try doing this jobber again. It's not really the best. And I'll see how long I can hold it there. It certainly is going up. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to read that much more with this. 
but you can certainly tell indeed that it's hot now yeah you, you don't want to keep your hand on that it's definitely way too hot I really can't tell I it, it seems like this is glass but maybe it's actually not I'm not sure and I think the original intent with these was to put it um, you'd put like dishes on here you'd put like a small dish of something here and a dish of something there old school percolator would go over here to keep the coffee hot and stuff like that so this way you wouldn't have food directly on this you can put food directly on this uh, I just put a sheet of foil and I know it's such a shame to do that because the vintageness and that but such is you know there's also a sticker on the cord if you want to read that and that is really all there is to say about it it's vintage it's probably early 1970s and I love it now I have that other warming tray that stainless steel one from Aldi Everything else is going along as it should. Some starred over here. Starred on the heating tray that is really hot, probably. What's here? Pizza kinds and other stuff. These are mini egg rolls, pizza rolls, and the chucha I got another tray of these and another tray of these at least. And while I'm sure the longevity of this unit will be, well, fucking forever, uh, the oldie one works the same. It, it really does. I mean, it's just, it just is. Uh, so it works. It's bigger. I put foil on that too. You know, it just is. So I guess the last thing we'll do is we'll just plug the watt meter in, see what that says, and uh, call it a video. Well, that's pretty damn close, if I do say so. It said 220 watts, it's 222.4. 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. It's going up, really? No, now it's going down a little. And if I twiddle the thermostat, it's all the way on high. I'll back it down slowly. There it is. And I'll go back up. So right, right here on medium is where it's turning on and off in that. Would have been cooler if there was a little white stripe on the knob. It would have been really nice if there was actually a, uh, what do you call it, you know, some kind of status indicator. But that just, you know, that wasn't in style for this. And there is a Phillips screw there, interestingly enough. Maybe that is what mounts the control in the machine. I don't think it's an adjustment of any kind. I wouldn't expect that. But otherwise, the awesome vintage avocado green Cornwall warming tray. We'll get a uh, temperature reading one more time. It's actually off now we're reading nothing and you know not for nothing it's really holding its temperature pretty good so I would imagine that if this is indeed glass and I'm just saying just based on how slippery it is uh, if indeed it is glass then this is um, most likely retaining the heat Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.